Um, anyway, so I feel like it's been forever since I have uploaded a video, and it has been, um, but uh, there's some big stuff going on, so I'll just go ahead and fill everybody in. Um, currently, I am 38 weeks pregnant, and I've had um, a few complications due to mild preeclampsia. So um, I've had to go to the hospital a few times to be monitored. Um, I've had a lot of labs done either through the hospital or through my doctor's office. And I had an appointment on Tuesday. <laughs> um, today's Friday, which is why I'm wearing a Support Our Troops um, hoodie around the house um, because it is Red Friday. Um, and if you don't know what that is, that is Remember Everyone Deployed. So there's that the little blurb. Um, anyway, I had an appointment on Tuesday and my doctor realized that the baby is breech. So he does have his bottom down um, instead of his head. So she had told me that um, we can try to manually turn him, um, that it would be uncomfortable and that there is a possibility that he could flip right back. Um, and she said that they do not try to deliver babies that are breech. Um, and after thinking about it, I don't really want to deliver a baby that is breech, uh, because that sounds extremely painful. So, I am here today with a what's in my hospital bag, and this is me essentially getting ready for a scheduled C-section. So I do have a C-section... <laughs> a c-section scheduled for um next saturday so we are like eight days away from baby day so i do have um just a quick video of some stuff that i have in my bag and stuff that i have for baby so i'm just gonna go ahead and get into it so first things first i'm pretty sad about these <laughs> i bought these socks for myself and I thought that they'd be really cute to have during labor, and they say, ready, set, push. So, um, obviously, I'm not going to be pushing, unfortunately. So, these won't really get used, but, oh well, they're still cute, and I'll still wear them. I mean, they're comfy. Um, the next thing that I have, this I found at Target, and it says, nine-piece women-on-the-go travel kit. So instead of having to pick up um, like every individual thing, um, this has shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, hand and body lotion, toothpaste, toothbrush, comb, um, a bag, or it has like a bag in here I guess, and then this bag because it's so it's like cleared to travel with, um, which obviously doesn't really matter for me because I'm not traveling with it but I just thought it was really cool because everything basically is already in here and like it's it's just Garnier um, Fructis uh, Sleek and Shine shampoo and conditioner so this pretty much takes care of all of my toiletries without having to like grab them the morning before you know because you have the stuff that you're going to use around the house for you on a daily basis. Um, so this is really cool because it just makes it easy to throw in the bag. Um, and then it also has, this is Vaseline, Intensive Care, Advanced Repair, Fragrance Free. So that's the lotion. Um, it's just Secret Invisible Solid Powder Fresh Deodorant, um, Crest 3D White Brilliance Toothpaste, and I think the toothbrush is just like a cheap toothbrush. Yeah, I mean, I mean it'll do. It's just for the hospital. It's not anything. Get in there. Anything crazy. Obviously, I'm not gonna use this comb because I have very thick hair. So this comb will not do a thing for me. Um, in this little travel bag, I will also throw in. Um, chapstick and not in this bag but I will be bringing my actual brush and um, face wipes and the face wipes that I have are um, 
they're like nighttime calming ones but I like the way that they kind of like balance out my skin they don't make me like super red um, so those are what I'm going with I'm showing you stuff but then I also have stuff that I am not showing you just because a it's either in the wash <laughs> or B I can't find it so I do have I'm not gonna undo these these are just a whole bunch of ginormous granny panties and everybody told me especially for a c-section that you're going to want high cut high waisted panties um so that they don't rub your incision so I just and then I was like well I don't want anything that's gonna be tight on it either so I literally got like huge pairs <laughs> like these probably don't fit me now <laughs> they might fit around my belly now but they're huge um so I just went to Walmart and I got a pack of these um next this is a robe and I got this Ooh, on clearance at Target. Here we go. Um, it does have a little hood, but it's just like a pink robe. And it ends up coming, it's like almost, it's like basically quarter length. Um, and it has a little hood and a little tie, um, but it's really lightweight. So uh, this will be used obviously in my room and to kind of cover up for nursing, um, if I, or no, not for, for nursing, but to cover up quickly if I'm in something that is indecent when people want to come by and see us and the baby. Who am I kidding? No one's coming to see us. They're coming to see the baby. Um, next, I have two um, nightgowns that I got from Walmart. And this one is just a black and white polka dot one. And... The other one is like an Aztec print, but I got both of them in tank tops so that um, it should be fairly easy to breastfeed in them. I am fairly large chested so that makes it easy for me because I kind of just like <laughs> lift my boob out. <laughs> And um, it's like easy access. So a tank top for me is like perfect. And that's what I went ahead and got. And those are both from Walmart. And those were on clearance, but they were still like 12 bucks. So they weren't like super cheap or anything. Um, the next thing that I will have is our baby book. So here's our baby book. And... I went through the other night and found the page for prints. Here it is. This says tiny prints. Um, so this my husband will have um, so that they can just do his prints. Um, you know, like right after I have him. That way, because with COVID I didn't do anything like this. And I had to use like his actual, you know, one from the hospital. So I didn't have one to put like anywhere else or to keep anywhere else it's just in his baby book so um, at least now I can keep the other one if I want to put it in his room or in our room or in a you know I can have it for wherever um things that I'm not showing that I'm bringing obviously phone phone charger um I also have for me a jar of Earth Mama Angel Baby Sea Salve, I think is what it is called. And that will be getting here tomorrow. I just ordered that from Amazon Prime. Um, and by the way, it's like 24 something on the Earth Mama Angel Baby website. And on Amazon Prime, it was like $15.50 for the same 30, I think it's like 30 milliliter or something jar. So it was like $10 cheaper on Amazon. So that is coming. I just thought to try it. Nobody specifically told me to get it. Um, I'm just getting that for me to try. And I know that, I mean, it, it might not go in my hospital bag necessarily um, because obviously they're going to have like gauze and that kind of stuff on the incision because that's what it's for. It's for the scar. Um, so I'm obviously probably not going to put it on in the hospital. 
probably not. But anyway, it's coming. So next I have baby's bag and here is my diaper bag for him this is um a carter's backpack i can't remember what it's called i don't think i have anything like in the pockets yet i think i have some stuff up here okay i'm just gonna set this down here hopefully i don't hit my tripod okay so in here I have, this is just going in the bag in general. This is one of my absolute favorite things. So this is Baby Gannick's um, stain eraser. I love this. I've used this for Coven for forever. Um, it is awesome. So um, the Baby Gannick's stain eraser, this is the best. I mean, so I, I might not need it in the hospital, but it is in the bag anyway because it will live in this bag. Um, it like does such a good job of taking out stains so if you're out somewhere and you have a blowout or whatever something gets on the baby's outfit then you can just like really quickly take it off dab it put it in your like wet bag in your diaper bag get it home wash it and it comes out it, it like honestly doesn't matter how long it's sat <laughs> so that lives in the diaper bag <laughs> i probably won't need it in the hospital but whatever um next i have little mittens and these are Carter's mittens. Um, this like little set or whatever that Carter's had is so cute. So um, I had to get these. With Coven, we definitely used the mittens after I realized that he was, you know, scratching his face completely all the time. Um, so the mittens in the very beginning are the best. And then I also have. Um, a couple pairs but I have little teeny tiny sockies <laughs> so these are cute and these are going in here back in that pocket okay next I have a little swaddle blanket this one just has like I don't even know what these are they, look, they almost look like plus signs but um, with Coven I know I brought an Aiden and an I um, swaddle blanket and it was awesome because it was so easy to kind of like if I was in the middle of nursing and someone came in it was so easy to just throw over my the, to throw over him because they're so lightweight and breathable and then also you know it's nice to get the hang of trying to swaddle a baby <laughs> so these are awesome um, next, I do have an actual nursing cover. This one is by Eddie Bauer, um, and I actually got it at a consignment shop. Um, so it just has this, like, really pretty leaf detail. Um, so this one will probably live in the diaper bag, too, but um, I think it was, like, literally four dollars or something at a used store okay next in here um i have an assortment of binkies coven we i did not want to have a binky ugh, because i was so afraid of him not wanting to nurse um <laughs> now however i know for the most part I know my way around nursing, so I'm hoping to um, introduce a binky. So I do have a few options. So we have this little elephant um, wubbinub. Oh my gosh, my nose. Um, some Avent Soothies. And then also some Tommy Tippies. Um, and then I also have a pack of Ma'am. Um, with Coven, when we got him circumcised, they, when he, they brought him back, he had a ma'am. So I guess that's the kind that the hospital uses. And we did take it home. And I did have some ma'am last time. But like I said, I was so against wanting him to even use a binky. I was like, get it out. So I'm going to throw these back in there. An assortment of binkies. So <clears throat> I have only one outfit in here. A lot of times when you watch these videos, people bring so many clothes. But with COVID, I never had clothes on him in the hospital. I mean, it sounds crazy, but I literally never put clothes on him 
Um, if anything, he was in a diaper and the side snap shirts that they give you. So I do have this little sleeper that says, hello, I'm new here. So there's that and it's just, it's a footless sleeper. I just really liked this one and they didn't have it with the feet. And here's a little hat that goes with it with a little lamb and the, what are those called? The mittens that I showed um, just a few seconds earlier match this like little set. So I have those. Um, in here, because they will probably end up living in here, are some drool bibs. This one says, I love you some more. This one is just camo, and this one is Mommy's Happy Little Camper. So, and these are Carter's, I think. Um, so these are just little, like, drool bibs, like I said, that will probably live in the diaper bag. Um... Some other things that you might ne not necessarily need for the hospital, but like I said, this is a diaper bag, so I'm trying to not have to repack it like, you know, every time I leave. So that's why some of this stuff, I'm like, this is stuff that's going to live in here. So if I ever do a what's in my diaper bag, you'll know half of it. Um, I do have some Honest brand newborn diapers, um, just a, like a little teeny tiny handful. Um... This little Huggies on the go um, wipes pouch. What is this? Desitin. Boogie wipes. Like I said, this is stuff that lives in here. Yeah. So, um, also that will be going in here is some Earth Mama Angel Baby Natural Nipple Butter. This one is lanolin free. Um, I have, I have lanolin too, but I just wanted to try something different. So this is the 60 milliliter little jar of Earth Mama Angel Baby Nipple Butter. And then also going in here are some Medela Tender Care Hydrogel Pads. Um, just for ouchies sake of nursing. Sometimes it hoits. So, I think that's really all that is going in here. The only other thing that it will be in the baby's bag that I haven't shown is his take-home outfit, which is just a little gown that um, I got off of Etsy, and it actually has his name on it, and his name is a surprise until he is born. So, otherwise I would show it to you, but it has his name on it. <laughs> so, I don't want anybody to know. Um, and also with that, we did get Coven a Big Brother shirt. So it says Big Brother Coven. It was made by the same shop on Etsy. Um, so I'm sure that when I do a video with Baby, um, that that will be in it. And I can tag them below. But other than that, is there anything else that is going in the bag? I don't think so. Um, obviously my camera that I can't find... That I'm starting to get really upset about. Can't find my camera. Um, but that should be going in the bag. If it doesn't go in the bag, then obviously we'll use um, this camera. <laughs> and we will also use um, my phone to take pictures. So, that's it. We have eight days until baby's coming. Hopefully I can get this room um, a little bit more put together so I can do a nursery tour. It's not anything spectacular um but it is pretty cute i like it um i like hanging out in here so that is it and i think next time we have a video it'll probably be with a baby some things that i'm not including that i know other people take um snacks um i'm not really going to do that because a um We'll probably have a lot of people come see us, so if I really want anything, I'm sure that they can pick it up for me. Um, sorry, I mean, that might sound mean, but other than that, um, the hospital has A-plus food. <laughs> and I know that from when I had COVID, that the food that is at the hospital that I delivered at with him is great. And you, it's not like at, at some hospitals, it's like... Um, so like it's like one breakfast plate or whatever and it's like one certain meal um, 
and at this hospital it's not like that like literally you just get a menu kind of like you're at a restaurant and you pick whatever you want from the menu um so it's not like a set meal for each like breakfast lunch and dinner um every day so like school you know how school lunches are kind of like that it's not like that it's like a menu it's like room service so the food there is awesome <clears throat> so i'm not worried about bringing like a bunch of extra snacks other than I keep, I keep on saying other than that i will be bringing a water bottle just because i'm funky about water so this is um a brita water bottle so it's one that like filters as you drink it i just like these so i'm gonna bring one of these um probably not this one i have a bigger one that way i can drink more water um and then i will also have um this little breastfeeding pillow this one is by that company that um that always has the coupons that is like for a free breastfeeding pillow but then you pay like 15 dollars in shipping so that's from them and i'm just gonna take that i did that with coven and it was nice because it was like small er um so i didn't feel like i was lugging a bunch of stuff um we'll probably also bring our own pillow and blanket for kindle um, and if you noticed, I don't have anything for Kendall. He's packing his own pack. I'm sorry. But he knows better what he needs than I know what he needs. So he can pack his own bag. Other than that, things that people other that other people bring that I'm not bringing. I'm not bringing any pads. Um, I know that the hospital gives us those. And they work perfectly fine. So I'm not concerned about bringing that. Some C-section moms have told me to see if the hospital provides a tummy binder or something like that, like a wrap. So I will be asking my doctor and if she says no, then I'm going to ask her where is the best place to get one. That way I make sure that I have one to, you know, kind of keep everything. And I am so nervous in general about this C-section. Um... The only other surgery I've ever had was a cyst removal um, when I was in like the seventh grade and just surgery in general freaks me out. So I don't know, I'm terrified. And you know, it's one thing like when you're thinking, well I already had a vaginal delivery and I know what happens during that, even being induced, I know what happens during that, but this is something completely different so it's very out of my comfort zone I'm very nervous so pads I like the big mesh underwear that the doctor or that the hospital gives you so yeah I'm not bringing a bunch of extra blankets because I know that they give you blankets they give you you know the little side snap shirts they give you diapers they give you wipes and honestly I kind of clean them out before I leave like with Coven, I think I went through the little caddy and took all the diapers that were in there. Um, the only thing I didn't take was like all of the shirts and all of the blankets. Like I know some people do that. I didn't do that. I just took his hat that he got as soon as he was born, um, his blanket that he got, and I did take his side snap shirt. But I know other people like seriously clean everything out of those hospitals. Um, which, I mean, you pay for it. It's a lot of money to have a baby. <laughs> so, I'd say more power to you and take it all. But I just don't need to bring home that much stuff. Our house is not big enough for that. Um, other than that, I don't know. I think that's all I'm bringing. Like I said, last time I think for Coven I brought a few outfits. And this time I'm not. Um, there's a possibility that I'll bring one more sleeper just to have one. But, like I said, I kept Coven naked pretty much the whole time. Naked so that I could feel him on me. Um, so naked and a blankie for him. That's all we did. But, anyway. Um, that is, real. Now, now I'm really doing my closing. That's really it. So, um, if you have any um, suggestions or anything like that, go ahead and leave me a comment below because I'd love to hear them. Um, and other than that, it's been cool talking to you. Uh, so I guess next time we talk, baby will probably already be here. Alright, thanks. Bye.